Hello everyone, Happy New Year again. We did a puzzle for 2024. I hope you had a chance to see it. If not, you can go ahead and check it out. But anyways, in this video, we're going to be integrating an interesting function, which kind of looks complicated. Doesn't it look complicated? What do you think? So we have x to the power x plus ln x divided by ln x. That is the exponent dx. And how do you integrate something like this? One of the things that I'm thinking about is I could probably I could probably just use substitution here, right? It might help to replace ln x with something. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's replace ln x with t. Doesn't matter what you variable you use, but I'm going to use t. And that gives us the following. If ln x is equal to t, then from here by using base e, x becomes e to the power t. And dx, which you need to evaluate, becomes e to the t dt. So I kind of need to go from uh, the x world to the t world. So those two things are uh, what I need, plus this one, right? So let's go ahead and do the substitutions. We're going to start with x, which is e to the t. And I'm going to raise it to something else, x, which is e to the t, plus ln x, which is going to be t, plus e to the t, because we have an ln x at the bottom, which is actually t, not e to the t. So this is supposed to be t. All right. So this is what we get from here. And of course, for dt or dx, I'm going to have times e to the power t dt. So we kind of went from an ln world to e to the power world, which doesn't seem very helpful. Now you can go ahead and do the following though, right? This is probably going to be helpful a little bit if you go ahead and multiply these exponents, right? We're supposed to multiply these. And when we do, the t is going to cancel out, which is good, right? When the t cancels out, we're going to end up with something a little simpler. So these t's are going to cancel out. And now we're going to have e to the e to the t plus t, and I'm going to go ahead and separate it. And there's another e to the t, and then dt. Great. So what can I do with this, right? Again, I can use substitution and replace e to the t with something. But if you replace e to the t with something, that you're going to go back to the x world, and are we going to get the original problem? Let's see what happens. OK. So now, if you replace e to the t with something, let's call that not x, but y this time. And you might be questioning why we're doing it doesn't matter. Uh, and we're going to get e to the t equals y. And then from here, t is going to be ln y. And dt is going to be 1 over y dy. Now let's see how, if that helps at all. e to the y. And of course, here's one thing that I would like to talk about. I don't want to use dt because I have e to the dtt already, e to the t dt. Because what, what happens is if you just d both sides, you're going to get e to the t dt equals dy. Make sense? You just differentiate both sides and add the d's, and I already have that. So I can go ahead and replace this with dy, and I'm hoping that it's going to be helpful. So what am, we, what am I doing? I have e to the y times y, right, because e to the t is y, times dy. Awesome. This is much better, don't you think? e to the y times y dy. Great. So let's see how we can evaluate this. And this is actually either di or you can call integration by parts. So with the di method, it's actually a lot easier. So you basically put the function that you want to differentiate here, easy to differentiate, easy to integrate. And then you kind of put the signs, which is the plus minus signs. And then you kind of diagonally multiply. Let me go ahead and explain what that means. If you put the y here, it is going to be better because its derivative is going to vanish at some point, right? When you just differentiate, it's going to be 1 and then 0. If you put the e to the y here, its integrals are easy, right? That's going to be e to the y and e to the y. Now, we're going to put our signs here. This is going to be a plus sign. This is going to be a minus sign. This is going to be a plus sign. But guess what? You don't really need the third row except for the i. So it's going to look like this and look like this. Make sense? So here's what the result is going to be written as y 
e to the y and notice that it's positive. And then this is a negative 1 times e to the y, which is minus e to the y. And of course, there is a plus c. Make sense? That's how you do the di method. And then we're going to go ahead and back substitute. What is e to the y? e to the y or y. y is, what is y, right? y is e to the t. So we can replace y with e to the t. And then, or if you think about it, this is the same thing as x. So we can basically write it as x e to the x minus e to the x plus c. But wait a minute. This integral looked kind of simple, right? But if you look at the original problem, that kind of looks complicated. So what is going on here? Let's go ahead and rewrite this and take a look at the second method. All right? So the second method is going to be as follows. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. We have e to x to the power x plus ln x divided by ln x dx. So this is the integral we're looking at. It kind of looks scary, doesn't it? But don't worry, we're going to simplify it. First of all, one of the things that I want to do is separate the numerator into the sum of two fractions. So I'm going to go ahead and take this x to the power x plus ln x over ln x and write it as x to the power x over ln x plus ln x over ln x, which is 1. And then this becomes x to the power x over ln x plus 1, or you can write it as times x to the power 1, so that when you multiply the powers, the exponents are added. Makes sense? Because this is just 1. And then we have the x, we have something else. What is that something else? Our answer contains some e's, right? So let's see. So this is an expression that I want to simplify. Let's go ahead and call that z. I already used t and y. And then ln both sides. I want to bring this power down. So let's go ahead and ln this and ln that. This we can bring to the front. x over ln x times ln x equals ln z. And I'm trying to solve for z, remember. And ln x cancels out. And I end up with ln z equals x. And by definition, z becomes e to the power x. So this expression that you see here is actually nothing but e to the x. Make sense? OK, it's kind of disguised, I know. But it is e to the x, and we have an x to the first power, which is x. So in fact, this integral actually is the same thing as x e to the x dx. And as you know, it's equivalent to x e to the x minus e to the x plus c. If you differentiate the result, you'll get x e to the x. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.